In this video, we'll look at using sound design instead of animating, and it might even make you work better. Hi, I'm Adam Bennett. This is The Video Shop. I was doing camera tracking with my students recently, and my very modest plan for this clip was to track it, obviously, have the windows swipe off one by one, then at the end, all the other windows swipe off in one go. But when I came to animate it, I realized you wouldn't actually see the windows underneath my hand. Also, animating them was a right ball ache. To do it properly, where you're swiping from here and they clatter into each other one by one, it could look cool, but it would have been a lot of work. So in this video, I want to talk briefly about using sound design to fill in animation gaps and potentially reduce production time. This is a pretty basic example that I'm showing you, but think about how you can apply this principle to your own animations at the planning stage, which isn't something all motion designers necessarily do. Okay, let's get started. So this is the final animation without sound design. So far, so underwhelming. I always planned on having some kind of audio, and my stupid idea was every time a window slid off, it would sound like Connect 4. If you don't know what Connect 4 is, you may know it as 4UP, Plot 4, or um, Captain's Mistress, which sounds like porn, let's be honest. Anyway, I spent a few minutes recording this, and then combined that with sounds of stone being pushed and generic swooshes. I used Motion Array for the stock sounds. They have thousands of high quality sound effects, some of which are even free if you want to try before you buy. Oh, and music. All royalty free, so once you register, you don't have to worry about licensing issues or that any social network will turn your video down. If you use a link in the description below, I will get a small commission. So this is the animation with my very hacky sound design. I mean, it's sketchy as hell, obviously, but having something here really fills in a gap in the viewer's imagination. Without it, you don't really get a sense of the window swiping off. But as well as enhancing the animation, don't laugh, the sound design here saved me maybe hours of work. So something worth considering. Anyway, that's it for this video. If playing around with audio isn't your bag, consider connecting with a sound designer. <laughs> connecting. I promise that wasn't planned. I recently got talking to an amazing sound designer, Cam, and we're currently working on a couple of projects I'm sure I'll be talking about on this channel soon. He even looked at this crappy animation for me and shared his workflow. And this is the final result. You can read more about his process in the description. And if you have any questions for either of us, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.